Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNC. We're down here on this RV project. This is day three. And we are getting ready to hook up the RV dump stations and septic tanks, which I got in the hole yesterday. What I want to show you is these new tanks. This is all plastic. Comes with a real neat T that hangs down in there. And what that does is when all the waste comes down this line and goes in there, it gets it to go down and keeps all the any kind of floating solid material on top from plugging the pipe up. Outflow pipe on the other end of the tank has this elaborate looking system in it. And what it is, is actually a screen so that all the water that comes out, this is inside the tank again, none of the solids can get in the drain field. Uh, get down to that point, I'll show you that one. But what we got is, we come up here, right here, is one inch in every 10 foot. You gotta have it to a one inch and 10 foot of fall because it don't run downhill, it has to flow. If you have the angle too steep, all the water outruns the solids and the solids get hung up in the pipe. And you want nice long radius 90s on the bends because you want all the waste to have like an e-ticket ride at Disney World. They want to be able to be on that plume ride on the way down here. Of course, RV dumps a little bit different because you basically dump all your black water, dump your, dump your solid tank, and then you put the gray water behind it, which rinses out the, gray, the black water tank, all the solids in the travel trailer, but then that would also flush this entire line out. So as we backfill, we're gonna have some compacting to do, but I'm gonna go ahead Attach this lid on this end. They supply with nice stainless steel screws and everything. And uh, this is a big step up. It's a poly tank. You drill a five inch hole. Then they give you these rubber grommets. And this goes in the tank hole and the pipe slides through it. So there's no more little bit of concrete and it leak all around the tank. They've gotten the world of septic tanks to a higher level now. And they're getting there. This tank right here was about $725. So they're not that bad. I actually picked it up with that little mini X and set it in, but two people can put it in. Two people can carry that thing. Kind of awkward, but it ain't that heavy. You don't have to worry about right here on this angle. Right here, have to build a flat spot for the big septic tank truck with a concrete box to come in. The only thing you do have to be kind of careful of is driving over top of it. And this will have about three foot of dirt on it, about two foot of dirt. And we're actually going to put a little wooden deck over top of it and use it as a barbecue picnic pavilion. So that'll keep anybody from driving a truck or anything over top of it. So let me get to screwing this lid down and get to the next section for you. Something to think about if you're doing a septic tank, if you ever have one put in or this right here is the lid where the solid ends of it is. There is a baffle wall in the middle of it to try to keep most of the solids on one side. It's got some holes. But um, this is the side of the tank they're going to need to get to if they ever got to pump it out. So before you start throwing dirt all over it, you better. We might measure from this tree down, but we'll probably end up sitting right on top of the ground, a patio block or something like that. So you down flush level with the ground so you can one day find it so you got to dig down about a foot to get to the lid and you'll kind of know where it is just a little bit of information if you ever buy a piece of property ask the guy where the septic tank is and of course when it was pumped but it'd be nice to know where it is well here it is machine started the, i was straddling the ditch and it finally gave away i had to fill in part of it to get off the ditch but it comes up Makes one turn and it comes up and I'll show you when we get done. It'll go down to a three inch coupling, this little RV coupling with two ears on it that their little flex line stretches on. So we're gonna backfill this ditch and I'll show you that end of it. Then we're gonna start digging out a little bit of drain field. Well, this is the outside of the pipe, about like the inside. What we've done is 
we drilled a five inch hole and now we're going to put this rubber grommet in here i don't know how well i'm going to be able to do this one-handed get a little bit of water on it kind of scrunch it in take it up to the stop which is where it is this time I tried to make it a little bit better put a little motor oil I took the end of the pipe and uh, tried to grind a little bit of a taper to it and now all I gotta do is get a shovel and shove this pipe in there well I gotta get my tripod and everything back. Like I said, I cut a little bit of an angle on the, just drug the saw blade around it, put some motor oil on it, put the shovel behind it, and it pushed right in. So when I get ready to do the other septic tank, I'm gonna have to have a tripod or somebody here to film it, but this show made it a lot easier doing this way. Well, we're on the outside of the tank, and I'll show you on the next one, they got this thing almost idiot proof but like i said this is the outside one and in it has this membrane with a filter so in other words all the solids and nothing can get out just a, just a, a fluid and what you do is you poke your pipe all the way through so we're going to glue this on there i'll show you what it looks like before i close the lid up and as you see in there i got water according to the manufacturer you don't have to but it's thunderstorming, rolling, carrying on. And I'd hate to come out here tomorrow morning and see this tank floating in this hole. So I run the hose up from the well and we put about half of water in there. Hold everything down. So let me glue this thing in and I'll show you what it's like before I close the hatchet. Well, here it is. There's the top on it. And like I said, what it does is all the anything floating and anything on top will be on top and it just takes the water screens it and just the water will go down through all this infiltrator we've got a bunch more it to put in so let me take you to the end and show you what that looks like well there's what the infiltrator looks like like i said it creates its own little hole somebody thought it out this stuff just clips together the next one kind of goes under here and sits down on there put enough dirt down to hold it before we backfill it and we'll have a half a dozen runs of this stuff you don't have to have gravel anymore you can do with a product called easy flow it looks like uh packing pack uh plastic packing peanuts all around the uh piece of perforated pipe but as you can see this thing right here can fill up with solids quite a bit if your tank ever messes up but of course the new system i don't know how it get past that little red screen system in the outflow pipe well here it goes i finally got the rest of them in on the first run got another run and i started back filling figured i didn't grab my camera and film it again i'm good for that i'm sitting on this machine trying to beat the thunder rumbling in the background but like i said this is what we do at carolina homestead planner we'll help you out every way we can like it share it subscribe if you got a project like i said if you just need advice or some way of getting started i don't charge for phone calls and i don't charge for emails um be more than glad to help you with a consultation be more than glad to come out and help you um be more than glad to do the job for you but i don't mind helping you like i said we do homesteading and prepping for the other 99 percent. we don't expect everybody in my clientele to have so much money they just pay everybody do everything for them but like i said like it share it subscribe hit the bell all that kind of good stuff tell your friends about it i appreciate you watching thank you